Gerard Johnstone's Megan proves itself more than gifable android dances and NFL halftime shows, a movie that pays off viral hype with the production goods. From the director of 2014's Housebound and the writer of last year's Madcap Malignant comes an artificial intelligence thriller that fringes camp and trumps 2019's inferior child's play reinvention. Megan nails this American girl meets American psycho vibe that accentuates an automaton's binary soulless assessment of humankind's follies while still finding time for memorable horror entertainment. Don't expect perfection between flatter storytelling devices that clunkily push through family drama or how humor overrides the frights, but do expect Megan to kickstart 2023's genre scene with an out-of-the-box playtime villain who does it all. I designed Megan to protect Katie from feeling lonely. She will recognize you as her primary user. Allison Williams portrays the workaholic toy company roboticist Gemma, whose latest pet project for employer Funky is put on hold when disaster strikes. Gemma becomes her niece Katie's guardian after a freak snowplow accident leaves Katie an orphan. Akila Cooper's screenplay explores adolescent trauma after the death of parents when Gemma decides to enlist Katie as her newest invention's beta tester. Gemma introduces Katie to her AI super toy Megan, an all-in-one best friend, caretaker, and teacher with advanced learning capabilities that make Furby look like a paperweight. Katie and Megan form an inseparable bond to the delight of Gemma and Funky CEO David right before things go all child's play. Megan strives to be a cautionary tale about our 21st century obsession with technology through the eyes of a career woman thrust into motherhood not by choice, but by fate. Williams and the pint-sized Violet McGraw fortify a barrier between their characters on purpose. Megan is their savior. Although, Megan sometimes struggles as an adoption drama where new mommy and obstinate daughter butt heads over their heartbreaking lifestyle shakeups. We're here for Megan's antics, yet the film's pacing makes audiences wait and wait before truly unhinging into massacre mode. Johnstone's so proficient at blending shudder-worthy horror with gut-busting hilarity that character-driven interludes feel slower, stunting momentum between Megan's evolution from observant supercomputer to plucky AI assassins. You should probably run. Blumhouse's decision to assure Megan's PG-13 rating through reshoots isn't a deal breaker, but detracts from the already lesser emphasis on nightmarish scares. It's a film that effortlessly entertains as a sassy techno horror satire, yet never feels evenly calibrated between Megan's villainous manipulation, the emotional fragility at stake, and exquisite killer doll frights. Megan, turn off. Are you sure? Which brings us to the star of the show. Miss Megan. From Megan's titanium skeleton to her almost human mannerisms, complete with disorienting glitches, she's a rubber-faced horror megastar. Johnstone's oddball sensibilities accentuate her good girl facade as much as Megan voice actor Jenna Davis's soothing Disney Channel voice. I'm all odds and ends right now. I'd really rather you didn't see me like this. <gasps> Cinematography creatively counteracts Megan's kitty size against adult targets, framing a murderer to fear through towering shadows or concealed appearances. Then there's the body actor Amy McDonald's seamless transition between mechanical mannerisms and feral attack modes, which sells the whole dual personality sociopath vibe. Teamwork makes the dream work, as it takes a village to create and characterize Megan, sure to be one of 2023's standout horror icons. When Johnstone executes what Johnstone does best, Megan is bulletproof. It was never meant to be played straight, which Cooper carries over from Malignant and Johnstone honors graciously. The more Megan's devious gazes and sarcastic threats emerge, the more Johnstone relishes the concept's apocalyptic implications when AI turns against its makers. The further Megan sells her superseding friendship directive paired with Katie, the quicker we're gifted with over-the-top bedside Sia serenades and exquisitely bonkers Megan personality upgrades. If she comes in this room, I'll rip your head right off your neck, I swear to God. Megan lives up to its memeable pre-release hype for mostly better and sporadically worse. Gerard Johnstone was the correct director choice, and Akila Cooper attempts deeper storytelling explorations centered around contemporary technological distractions. But you're watching for Megan. That's why she dazzles as the titular tyrant ready to rumble in the name of hard-coded primary user love, even at a detriment to the scenes where she's relegated obsolete. Allison Williams, Violet McGraw, and other performers are granted their momentary standouts, only to concede spotlights because Megan is the reason for the horror season this winter. A genre star is born from motherboards and violence in a movie that begs to be a tad leaner, yet delivers clip-worthy horror-tainment nonetheless. For 